Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, The Bad Wolf, and today we're doing a room tour. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support us and it helps us grow as a community. And don't forget to enter the code BADWOLF at Organic Price Books during checkout to save $2 on your order. All right, let's get into this room tour. I'm going to start outside the room where the, where the first bookshelf resides, and then we'll, we'll make our way into the room. All right, this is the bookshelf just outside the studio. This is where all my non-comic stuff is, but there's plenty of stuff in there. Game of Thrones books, 50th anniversary of Lord of the Rings, some gaming books. Let's see, we got our Firefly books, and this is where the obsession starts. Yes, I am a Doctor Who nerd through and through. I've been watching the Doctor Who since, well, since the 80s. For those of you that are Doctor Who fans, down in the comments below, who's your favorite Doctor? I started out watching Tom Baker, number four. But today I'm going to have to, it's a tie, man, between 10 and 11. Matt Smith and David Tennant, those guys are awesome. My daughter gave me that uh, Build-A-Bear for... I can't remember if it was Christmas, my birthday, or Father's Day. It was one of those awesome days that dads get gifts. All right, now let's move into the room to the stuff you really want to see, guys. All right, now we're in the entryway of the studio, starting off with our Wolverine picture. I've had that for years. Start here. This is where we do all of the video editing for the channel. Still learning. It's also my gaming rig. And some behind the scenes here, this is the Bad Wolf Comics logo in process. This is just the lettering. Uh, we've got a long ways to go, but uh, this is the beginnings of the Bad Wolf Comics logo. A little behind the scenes action for you. All right. This is really not part of the comic tour. Sorry for the rassiness back there. I am terrible with cable management. So I'm going to start here and go around the room with the canvases, and then we'll get around to the books. So we started here. This is, I, I got a bunch of uh, high-res pictures, <clears throat> and I uploaded them to Easy Canvas Prints, and they shipped them out the next day, uh, within 48 hours, I believe, but uh, they're really decently priced. Check them out. Good stuff. It's our Marvel Comics light box. All right, and here's our first canvas. One of my favorite covers, as you'll find uh, throughout the length of this video, you'll see that I am absolutely a Jim Lee fan. I love Jim Lee's art. I love his work. He's my number one favorite artist. All right, this is the iconic four-part cover. This was actually the first one I had done, and it's beautiful. Love it. Love every little bit of it. We'll get to the statues. And uh, I found this image. It's, it's like a mirror image of the Jim Lee. You know, you put them together. I can't sit back far enough. But it's like a mirror image of the Jim Lee. It was a homage for Justice League, so I had to have it. it uh, they mirror each other, so it's great for my multiverse. And over here is for my Image Comics section. It's basically an Image Comics anniversary picture that I found. Yes, some more of my nerdy Doctor Who stuff. These were given to me as birthday gifts from friends. We're not going in the bathroom there, but this was one of this is the first one of the smaller canvases that I had done. It's one of my all-time favorite covers. Now it's, it's uh, we're going to do some statues here. Um, all of these are one-tenth scale, except for the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine, which we'll get to shortly. There's Storm. At some point, I will probably repackage these and do an unboxing and a full review for each one of these. Stan was my first one-tenth statue that I got. Um, now, you may have noticed in some of the previous pictures that I had a bunch of quarter-scale statues up here. Well, the problem being is those were just too big and I ran out of room really fast. 
and uh, I wanted to, to display more characters, so I got rid of all but this one. This is by far my favorite. I love this statue. Age of Apocalypse is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, DC got wiped out. Um, keep in mind, I, yes, I am going to work on my X-Men first, um, and then I'm going to work on DC. And I've got some surprise stuff coming next year. It's, it's going to be 2023 before I fill this area. But uh, we're going to have some good stuff for this area. And, of course, my Marcus Phoenix statue for my Gears of War 3. Still got that. Love it. All right, now we're going to take a look at some books. Start over here in our Marvel section. Our Acts of Vengeance. Now, you may be wondering why my books are uh, ordered the way they are. Um, I just, I, it's a work in progress. I'm still trying to figure it out. But this first row here is really just all of the Marvel events. Right? And I'm trying to keep everything in a chronological time order. Um, I'm probably going to reorder these at some time, so... Eventually, you will see these books get moved around, maybe in, in the behind the scenes in some of the videos. Oh, there's our first custom book. We're going to do all sorts of custom stuff on the channel, so stay tuned, true believers. That's coming. Uh, it's a custom dust jacket for my Deadpool and Cable. My original was damaged, so I gave it to my son-in-law for Christmas. I'm going to buy a new one. Training some fantastic four. Oh, some more customs. Those gambits are freaking sweet, guys. I'm gonna come back here. Here's our Hulks. Thank you, Marvel, for making the uh, logo smaller on the first one. Now I have to get a custom DJ. Roy, talking to you. All right, some more custom omnibus on Magnetos and Moon Knight. And now we're into Spider Man. Get as many of these as I can get. I've got a bunch more in order, but uh, missing a few right here. But uh, I think I'm going to try and wait for reprints because I refuse to pay more than $200 for a book. Even that's pushing it. Um, it's got to be... There, I think I have six or seven books that are on my whale list, and I just can't get them because I'm not... I won't pay more than that. So we're waiting for reprints. And here's the Star Wars that you just saw in a recent What's in the Box video. Some Thor, more Thor coming. And Wolverine Volume 1 and 2, 3 is coming. That's And it's out of mind, you'll see the, the books turn to the side like this. There's a reason for that. I'm trying to make space for future books. Uh, there's I've got a set of books that are going to go in there. Hush, hush. I'll tell you what they are when they come in. Get down here to more Wolverines. Anybody got a new, new Wolverine Goes to Hell? Mine was cut weird bothers me space for our new other x fact there's some custom djs there that's actually x-force uh cable and x-force and deadpool and x-force but i had them rebranded on the djs because it bothered me more custom djs we'll get into those soon can you tell i like x-men i mean just a little Age of Apocalypse, my all-time, one of my all-time favorite crossovers for X-Men. All right, here's some more customs. Eventually, I'm going to omnibus the entire X-Men timeline. Right now, I'm really just waiting for the 60th anniversary to be over, and Omar is sure to announce some, some more official omnis, so I'd hate to spend money getting all those customs just to have them have an official release there's some omnis that are going to get replaced and that's it for those i have some extra shelves there these are actually set back away in the bottom because i have a large rottweiler dog named nala and she doesn't like to listen so she is always pushing my books back with her butt and now we're hitting the DC side. Some room for that American Vampire Volume 2. I need to get some room for a Neil Adams in here. Now, the DC is a little bit different. Um, my stuff in DC is alphabetical. But it is also... This is all pre-New 52. And then as we come down... 
get our flashpoint, and then we get into the new 52. These are some of my favorite books, DC books of all time, right there. That Batman and Robin was phenomenal. I still have to read Eternal. All right, some more Batgirl. More of our new 52 line. I'm going to do new DJs to make all of them new 52 books. And then we come into here with our Rebirth stuff. And then there's the, the Injustice and the, the gaming side. And there's our deceased. I can't wait for the last of those, and I'm hoping they now make it. Now we're going to come over I'm to the sorry. miscellaneous shelf. This is everything that's not DC or Marvel. Um, it's really separated by publisher and then alphabetical. So here we're going to start with Boom Studios and Firefly. Once in Future, Something's Killing the Children, the TMNT line, my modem router, <laughs> another custom Omnibus Thundercats, and my favorite image comic, Invincible. Shout out to JP for giving me a great deal on the uh, the Invincible set and the Walking Dead set. Uh, now the spawns are all getting reprints, so those two that are missing, I'm going to get those. I'm also going to grab the Absolutes. I may keep them all. I may, I may even give some away. So there might be a giveaway in the future, True Believers. Some Witchblade. Uh, those will probably definitely get given away at some point. Um... My custom guy made a, a complete set of Witchblade for JP, and I'm, I'm definitely going to have to pick those up. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry, guys. The Doctor Who is not done. More Doctor Who, some Gears of War, some Highlander. Random extra stuff. And our air purifier. Yeah, Once again, I'm, I'm terrible with cables. Sorry about that, guys. But that is the whole panoramic room. view of the whole room. And that's that, guys. It's not a big room. It doesn't take too long, but this is my little slice of heaven, man. This is my happy place. Thanks for watching. I'm glad All you guys All right, guys, thanks sure. for coming along this little room tour of Bad Wolf Comics. We'll probably do one every six months to a year, uh, depending on how well the channel does, depending on how many things change in the channel. Um, but as, as new statues populate, as new books populate, things will change, and we'll definitely do updates from then on. There's plenty more content coming, so stick around, true believers. Thanks for watching.